Hey guys, Fanscam here and today I'm bringing you another Mountman Gaming tutorial. This time we'll be looking at a Fallout 4 bug that causes the game to crash. Now as far as I'm aware, this bug at least appears on PC, I'm not entirely sure whether it appears on Xbox One and PS4. However, the fix for this really only applies to PC. There may be a similar method to fixing this bug on uh, console, but I'm not entirely sure that you were able to do that. So before we jump into it, let's actually look at what the bug is so that we're on the same page. Okay, now that we're in game, I can show you what the crash actually looks like. Now this crash is specific to when you're trying to load into a saved game. So for instance, we'll just click one of my most recent saves. Now it will come to the load menu as per usual, just like whenever you actually play the game and when it's working. However, as it's going through this load menu, at some point, possibly between a minute and 10 minutes, depending on how long your saves actually normally take to load, the game will just completely crash to desktop. Just like that, the game will crash to desktop, there will be absolutely no sign that you ever played it. In my experience, I haven't even received an error message. The game hasn't appeared in the taskbar anymore. It's as if I was never playing it in the first place. Now, the reason that this crash actually happens is what I'm gonna show you next. Okay, so now that you're in game, you can very quickly fix this crash problem. And to be honest, as I said before, you're just going to need to clear out your load files. So go into load, find some just unnecessary load files that you know for a fact that you definitely don't need. And just delete them. I mean, I've got a few here that I clearly don't need. The way I actually organise my load files personally is any really important load files, I have my character just facing the camera when I click save. And that's the easy way to organise it. So once you've done that, you can pretty much just go ahead and quit out of the game. Okay, so once you've closed the game, you're just going to want to open up Steam again. And when you check Steam, Fallout 4 might still be syncing those saves that you've deleted. If not, once that's completed, click on Fallout 4, right click it, click Properties, and go over to Updates again. Now, look back at the Steam Cloud section. This number on the left should have reduced, and this number on the right should have gone up. And if that's changed significantly, at least 100 megabytes, then you should be good to go, and that should have fixed your problem. And the reason for this is that once you've deleted those saves out of Fallout 4, it will also delete them off of the Steam Cloud, freeing up plenty of space. So the next time you go into the game, you can just go ahead and load your most recent save and the game shall go straight in without crashing because Steam will have plenty of space to sync to the cloud. So if you take anything away from this, maybe it's just that you don't need every single quick save where you've heard the bleep of a suicide abuse and, and you've shit your pants. So go ahead, clear out all your saves, only keep the important ones, and you should be free to play as much as you want without crashes. But if you have any other problems, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll see if I know any way to sort them out. I really hope this video helped you guys. And if it did, please drop us a like. And go ahead and check out our other videos. If you like what you see, please subscribe. This has been Mountman Gaming. I've been Fancycam, and I hope this has helped you out to fix your problem in Fallout 4. Adios.